Oh my goodness, what a sad song that is. So, so sad. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome to Dulce America. My name is Bing Futch. Thank you very much for joining me. Our third song of our four saddest Christmas songs ever is from a 1999 George Strait album called Merry Christmas Wherever You Are. And that is the title track right there. It's a beautiful melody. Um, and it's got this sad minor four chord in there, which is a C minor. We're playing the song in the key of G on a chromatic dulcimer tuned D A D. And the only reason I'm using the chromatic dulcimer is so we could get the C minor, that wonderful minor four. It's in there. And the song itself is beautiful. A minor four chord definitely is a heartbreaker. But the lyrics, if you listen to the lyrics, uh, it's about a guy who is hanging a stocking for his ex who is not around anymore for whatever reason and how he's gonna have a good holiday because he's hung a stocking for her and he has his memories of her and that's it come on that's depressing <laughs> that's really depressing but a gorgeous song and one for our advanced mountain dulcimer players out there or um, intermediates who are playing the chromatic dulcimer so once again, I do have tablature available for this. It's a brand new arrangement, nothing fancy, but it does give you the melody and the chords uh, complete. And um, you can go to the little link that you see down here at the bottom of the screen, go over to Patreon on my open house, download the tablature so you can have it. Now, beware of this, that I actually use the uh, typical tablature for 12 tone scale. So we won't be seeing any plus signs. We'll be using uh, 12 frets, 13 fret for the octave, as opposed to seven frets for a diatonic scale. So if you're gonna try and convert that from chromatic to diatonic, be aware that that's the numbering convention that I'm using for the tablature. Besides that, I won't be talking numbers here so much as I'll be talking about chords and how we achieve those chords and how we thread them all together with the melody. So let's take a look at, again, how we do this chord melody thing, which is basically playing chords and allowing that melody to be the highest pitch note in the chord. So I actually started working with the chords on this song first, as opposed to doing it the other way around, working with the melody, because I wanted to see where those chords were gonna be and how far I would have to stretch in order to pick up the melody. So once again, we are in the key of G. So I'm starting things off with a very, very simple back and forth between G major and a D7. That's not in the tablature, but I just do it a couple of times here. And then we start the song off together. So it's tricky because some of the melody for this is gonna be on the middle string. Starting off with this first G major chord, the first melody note is on the middle string and I'm plucking it together with the bass string. I'm not using the melody because that's the next, sorry, I'm not using the melody string because that's the next note and the next string we're gonna to go to. I'm getting that with my thumb, as you can see here. And I do like to finger pick this. I tried flat picking it or strumming with it, but I like having the individual control on each of the strings. So I'm using a finger picking method to make this happen. So we're sweeping the bass and middle string, and then with the thumb, okay? Then we're gonna come back and hit that middle string again, and then we're gonna move it up to C, from B to C, and then we're gonna let go of the bass string, take the G bass off and put the D bass in, so we can go over to our D major. It's gonna sound like this. Again, coming to the melody string, for that note, but we're leading off from the middle string. There's that middle string pick, and then... Okay, we'll do that again. Thumb gets the G here to the fifth fret. We let go of everything else, get the C on the middle uh, string. Go open on the melody string and then come on down and then pull off as you'll see in the music. Then we're going to get back into a G major chord. I'm going to walk up 
and then use the melody string as my next walk up note and then we go to C major melody is actually at the second fret using the thumb now to go fourth fret the fifth fret then do a G all the way across the strings and then thumb gets the G on the melody string fifth fret do that again from C major walk up thumb F sharp and G there go back to G proper pick up the thumb with the G the fifth fret now watch carefully we're gonna go from our C walking up thumb four or five switching it to an a7 chord two four five thumb comes up to seven to nine now you don't have to keep holding on to this but I am definitely going for that and then the thumbs gonna come down here that's gonna be a and then we have a C minor chord it's really lovely there it's actually technically a C minor six chord now the way I'm playing it when I just played it I played it two ways this is the last way I played it but I also played it like this this is the voicing that is actually on the record and as you can tell it's a bit of a finger twister it's a bit of an issue but I wanted to have E flat on the bottom that's part of our uh, C minor C E flat G the E flat is actually on the bottom so this is a first inversion chord on the record this is a little easier to get the thing is is um, we have changed the voicing to where the G is now on the bottom so it's a second inversion chord with the G on the bottom and then we've got E flat on the middle and then we've got the A hanging out there and that's going to be the the six so it's unusual in that we're not using the usual configuration but I love this voicing that is some sweet stuff right there for our C minor six chord so you can choose to kill yourself with the uh, or kill your hand rather it may kill you but it'll definitely kill your hand this is not an easy reach to get at all so uh, in the tablature you will see that both times we play the C minor 6 we're just using this configuration right here but if you want to go for that authentic voicing there's that all right so let's move up to what we've gotten so far there we've got That is, that is incidentally that is our D minor 7 chord right there and then we do our walk up into our C major a7 and then we get into that beautiful C minor 6 now our next melody notes are going to be okay G A B so for that A chord with the melody we have to first walk up and then the melody is going down below where we're barring for the A and then catching it right there at the fourth fret right here at the fifth fret sorry seventh fret there and then we're gonna piece in part of our G major chord and then resolve from a down to G with the thumb that's gonna take us into the bridge here there's D minor come out of that into our G major then the C major we're going down to that E now we go to our uh, A which is actually an A slash C sharp chord 
and it's an A7 because we are playing the G in here as part of the melody. Go to open on the melody string and then come in with your A minor. Target note here is F sharp, then E, and then let go. And then we get into our repeat section, back to the initial verse. Walk up the G into C major to G. A, C minor 6, and then what I'm doing here is I'm doing a walk down into an E minor. So after we come out of our, we get into our G, Walking that bass down from G to F sharp down to E. And then just repeat the tag. And then what I'm doing is, I'm doing kind of an arpeggio across my chosen C minor six. and then playing a final G major chord and inverting it to give it a bit of a different flavor. And there it is. That is Merry Christmas Wherever You Are, recorded by George Strait in 1999. And it is really one of the saddest Christmas songs I have ever heard. And that's our theme. And I know we've been having a lot of fun with this. So thank everybody for all the emails and uh, suggestions and comments and thanks and also I want to thank all of my patrons you guys are, have been so amazing this month and I love you very much I hope you're enjoying all the behind the scenes activities and there's a lot more where that came from and uh, it's gonna be a fantastic 2022 so I really really do thank all of my patrons for their support every single day and if you're really curious about what the whole patreon thing is about while you're over there getting the tablature for this piece of music with that link below Make sure you wander around using the open house tag. And that'll give you a lot of other stuff you can download. All my CDs, books, tablature, videos, they're all available for $5 a month on Patreon or $50.40 per year for the annual pass. Everything, full access and new weekly content every single Monday and Friday and sometimes on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Brand new stuff every single week. So thanks again for checking it out. Thank you to my patrons. Next week, we're going to wrap up this whole sad Christmas nugget with arguably my favorite Christmas song of all times. It's a bit controversial, but it's beautiful and lovely, and it's huge and epic. And we're going to do that next week on Christmas Eve. It's so perfect. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time.